have been an artist um, since I was eight. That's when I remember drawing. I became a visual artist for sure. I started painting in 2017, and I've been doing that ever since. Um, the pandemic forced me to sit down in front of my work. Um, it definitely opened up my creativity because I spent a lot of time researching. I even started reading. Um, this it became my full time job literally like right before everything happened. So um, it just motivated me a lot. I do a lot of paintings for clients, but more likely I like what people, like what I've already created on my own and just buy it from there. I want to open up a, I've been saying this for years, I want to open up a um, art gallery all over the town, not the town, all over the states for all black artists to um, showcase their work. Um, you'd be able to buy from there. I wouldn't really charge any artists. Um, I just like the idea of somebody, you know, allowing black artists, young black artists, to put their name out there, get their art out there, you know, free of charge. If I could paint a piece with somebody, it would be Rihanna. And um, that's because I have been admiring her since I was in middle school. Um, she's just a beautiful person overall. I would also paint for my grandma who passed two years ago. She never really got to get into um, my hard work because she was um, sick at that time. So I would love for her to see my work. All of my social media, you can find me by my name, which is Kenya Holland. I wanted to make it easier because I go by K-Love, which is K-L-V-O-E. That's my Instagram. And Art by K-Love, K-L-V-O-E, on Twitter. But everybody calls me Chloe, when really I just... <laughs> I um I just switched the L and the B around like years ago just because it was just I just wanted some signature but Kenya Hollins you can find me on anything by my name um, because I always have it like at the top at the title. So.